Hi guys and welcome to Beyond the Objective. If you haven't had the chance, please check Beyond the Objective website where you can see a post about white balance and many more stuff. This video is a continuation of the last post. The link will appear on this video and also on the description. On this video I will show you how to create white balance on Photoshop on a pretty accurate way but that it takes a little bit of time. So first let's start by opening the photo and it will appear uh, the first layer of the photo locked and with the name background. First we'll drag the lock into the garbage icon here, down under, and it will be named layer 0. Now let's drag the original layer into this icon to create a new layer. This way we are protecting the original layer and we are not messing up with it. So let's uh, maybe call it original. If you don't have this adjustment menu, go to window and then press it here. So first select the layer and then click on curves menu, uh, curves adjustment and then on threshold. And now uh, let's drag the, the slider onto the far left until uh, black pixels appear. If they don't appear, like on this example, let's drag slowly to the right. This way we are choosing the darkest pixels of the of the photo. As you can see here by adding the threshold uh, layer, these are the darkest points of the layer. So let's zoom it by pressing Z. Press this icon, this triangle, and then pick color sample tool. And then click on one of the black pixels of the photo. Fit screen here. And I'll do the same, but on the uh, dragging the the slider to the to the right side until uh, white points appear, white pixels. If they don't appear, then drag slowly to the left. On my case, uh, it's already here. So let's zoom into these white pixels. Let's pick again the color sample tool by pressing I, and then clicking on one of the white pixels. Let's zoom out again. Press on curves and then you see these three probes. Then click on the first one on the top, it's the black one, to choose the black point of the image, that it's the point that we chose as number one. Let's zoom until we see the point. Maybe you can use here the threshold again and drag to the, to the left. Let's zoom a little bit to see the point. zoom out and I'll do the same with the uh, point 2. Let's drag this slider to the right side. This time we are choosing the white point so pick the last one, the last probe. You see that these lines are changing because we are choosing new points as black point and white point. Now let's hide the layers to see the difference that it makes. So you see that this red cast there it's uh, on the photo, it's disappearing and appearing a more natural blue color. But now we have to choose the most important point that it's the gray point. So we are doing this by uh, creating a new layer and it should be under threshold, it's very important. Layer, go to edit and fill and choose the 50% gray with normal and 100% opacity. Click OK. And now on blending mode, go to difference. If you click on threshold, if it's on top of this uh, gray uh, layer, you'll see that only 50% of the graphic will appear. This means that only 50% of the points of the photo are appearing, the lightest gray, so from white until the middle gray. So let's drag the slider until the left side, until some points appear. And then let's pick the point. Do the same, click on I, pick again in the color sample tool, and on the point, let's pick it. Then on curves, pick the gray probe, and then click it on number three. You see that the, the curves really changed a lot if we do, if we step backwards. We're on the curves, and now forward, you see that there was a changing on the 
red channel and also on the blue channel. So let's zoom out and let's see the differences. You see that there's a much more blue color on the on the photo, not the red cast as before. So now you can delete the layers, threshold and gray layer, put on the garbage and don't don't delete the curves layer. You can now uh, select curves layer and the layer we are working on. I select on control and click on the other layer. And now with the right button of the mouse, click on top of this. And then at the same time as you press out, click on merge layers. You have to be quick because then the menu will disappear. And now we can group the two layers into a, a group name, white balance. And then you can continue your workflow. Now you can also delete the, the probes so that they are not here on the on the on the image by picking power sample tool and then with the right button of the mouse click on delete. So guys that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like it, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also uh, visit Behind the Objective website to see lots of more stuff. Um, you can also subscribe Facebook, Instagram, Twitter or 500px to check more photos. Um, see you next time. Happy shooting. Bye.